Tonight, Shakira Rucker's family held a candlelight vigil in honor of her. And we continue our team coverage tonight with West 2's Paola Tristan Arruda, who spoke to family about the heartbreaking discovery. The people have come and gone, but the candles remain here tonight as a tribute to the life and legacy of Shakira Rucker. Let us bow our heads. Friends and family gathered at an open field to remember a 37-year-old mother of four. She was an, a caring person. She cared about her kids. All she wanted to do was work, go to church, and just live, you know, and have fun. Emotional moments as Shakira Rucker's loved ones lit candles, released balloons, and embraced one another in her memory. While the souls are hurting, hearts are breaking. Among the people at the vigil, state attorney Andrew Bain showed up to show support for the family. We need to make sure that we're taking care of each other and making sure that we are um, going to be able to see, uh, people are going to be able to see the next day, the, the day after that, and this, you know, avoid these type of situations in the future. When it comes to Rutgers kids, her brother says they already broke the news to them. They're devastated, you know, but they're staying strong for each other because at the end of the day, they're going to need, they're going to need each other. As questions remain on when charges may be filed against Rutgers' estranged husband, who was the main suspect in her death. And it's in Jesus' name we're praying. Amen. Amen. Her family prays for closure. Rutgers' family says that they're grieving and mourning her loss, but really they want justice for her. In Orlando, Paula Chisneruda, West 2 News. And we will continue to follow the investigation into Shakira Rucker's death and the alleged involvement of her estranged husband, Corey Hill. You can find the very latest both on air and online at WESH.com.